Our next speaker is Xiao Lu Yu, and her presentation is Facing the Challenge, Food Security, and Pathogen Infections. Have you ever had the experience that you are just about to enjoy a yummy strawberry, and then you suddenly realize they are covered in this nasty mold? So you may wonder, what happened to my strawberry? The answer is that the strawberry is getting sick. But why? Very similar to humans, plants are constantly surrounded by all types of plant bugs, like bacteria or fungi. And the relationship between the plant and the bug is like a tug of war. So if the plant wins the game, then plants will be happy. But if the bug wins the game, then the plant will get sick. In the case of this strawberry, obviously the bug wins the game, so the plant is getting invaded. So you may wonder why would we care about those plant bugs? Because those plant bugs are greatly or affecting our food production process. They may infect the plant and cause a yield reduction, or they may infect the fruit and render them inedible. And overall, those incidences account for almost 10% of our global food loss. And this pose a big threat towards our global food security. So what can we do or what should we do? And this is the question that drives me to work on my PhD project, which focuses on understanding how plants protect themselves against bacterial pathogens. So in the laboratory, instead of growing corn or potatoes, we actually grow a weed, as shown in this picture. So you may wonder, a weed, hmm. The reason that we use this weed is because this grows very quickly and very easy to maintain. But most importantly, we have known tons of their genetic information over the last 50 years of research. So in the lab, we can have the plant, and we can use an insulin syringe to push the bacteria into the leaf. And we can observe this progression of this yellow leaf color, which means indicates the plant is getting sick. We can also quantify the amount of the bacteria that stays in the plant to demonstrate how strong your plant immune response is. So this system serves as a very quick tool to genetically dissect the plant genetic component or plant genes that might be involved in the plant immune response. And my research has uncovered that a plant gene called GCN2 impairs the plant immune response against many different types of bacterial pathogens. So this information will be able us to move forward to develop crops with higher disease resistance and hopefully reduce the crop loss and eventually feed the population. Thank you.